right, I'm entering the room and washing my hands. Hi, Mr. Hoffman, my name's Nancy. I'm gonna be your nurse this afternoon, and we're gonna be doing a, an assessment of your respiratory system. Is that okay? That's fine. All right, I wanna start out with two questions. Um, do you smoke cigarettes? No. And have you ever smoked? No. Do you have any history of lung problems like asthma, emphysema, bronchitis? I have not. Okay, all right, good. So I'm gonna proceed with the assessment. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm just gonna be observing and looking at the chest, and this is the inspection. So I'm first noting his respiratory rate is within normal limits. That's how fast he's breathing, and the rhythm is regular, meaning it's a nice, normal, regular pattern. I see your respirations are deep. I do not see any retractions or bulging of the interspaces. I see you're sitting up straight as opposed to leaning over, um, trying to catch your breath. And I see that the chest is symmetric. I also notice that the anterior posterior ratio to the transverse ratio is two to one, which is normal. Um, then I'm gonna continue my inspection, also looking posteriorly at the posterior chest. Same thing, looking for any abnormalities for the shape of the chest which is within normal limits. The chest should be shaped like a cone. All right, then I'm gonna continue the assessment by palpating the chest. So I'm gonna to touch you, and I'm gonna to touch the chest all over. Please let me know if you have any tenderness or pain in any areas. And lift up here. And I'm checking for anything abnormal, bumps, bruises masses, pain, tenderness. I'm looking at the skin for anything abnormal. I'm looking at the color of the skin while I'm doing this, particularly looking for pallor, okay, pale, or uh, cyanosis, which would be blue. And then can you stand up for me for just a second and turn around? And I'm gonna check the expansion of the chest by putting my thumbs right here and then having, can you take a big breath in and out? Okay, and you see my hands move in and out. Do that one more time, in and out. Good, and so the chest expands symmetrically. Have a seat again. Okay, first so we'll look at tactile fremitus, which is checking the vibrations underneath the patient's skin. And when there is consultation, consolidation or anything unusual under the patient's skin, it will feel differently. So for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to wear gloves, but you know to always put on gloves when you assess your patient. So um, I'm going, just like when I check for chest excursion, I'm going to place my hands in this kind of a wing fashion on the patient's back and ask him to say 99. 99. And I feel the vibration underneath. And then I move my hands down and I ask him to say 99 again. 99. And again. 99. And again, 99. And again, 99. And I can see, I can feel that the vibrations underneath his skin are the same throughout, which means that there is no abnormalities. If there was increased fremitus, so increased vibration, that would mean that there is a density, so that could be fluid or underlying pathology. And if there was decreased fremitus, that could mean that there's fluid around the lung, such as in a pleural effusion, or maybe the patient has some emphysema. I like to tap on the chest. James, I'm now going to listen to the chest. If you could just take some deep breaths in and out through your mouth.
This time, James, every time I place my stethoscope on the chest, could you say 99 for me? 99 James, I'm now going to tap on your back. If you could just fold your arms for me. James, I'm now going to listen to your back. If you could just keep your arms folded and breathe in and out through your mouth for me. Now if you could say 99 for me. 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99